Today, the President of the United States delivered a message to school children around the country. The speech sparked a nationwide debate over politics in the classroom, but it turned out to be more of a pep talk. And we wanted to know what local students took away from the President's address. I went to news reporter Stephen Schuler watched the speech with a fifth grade class in Providence, and he joins us now live with local coverage. Well, after a week of political uproar surrounding the speech, many classrooms fell silent today as President Obama spoke to students nationwide about the importance of hard work. The future of America depends on you. From Wakefield High School in Arlington, Virginia, to Flynn Elementary School in Providence, the beginning of the school year came with a presidential tone urging students to stay in the classroom. I thought that um, some kids could learn from the speech. It, it's like the fourth day of school and like, she started to talk to us early. Over the past week, controversy surrounded President Obama's education speech, with many conservatives questioning whether he would push partisan politics. The administration released the text yesterday to ease concerns, and today Obama stuck to a message of working hard and staying in school. He wants us to stay in school. He wants us to get the good education that we do need. To learn a lot. To to be role models to little people, to show respect. These fifth graders watched the 20-minute speech closely and then discussed it as a class after. In their last year of elementary school, many of the students say they'll take the message with them. He's the one who said, yes, we can do it. Never give up on each other. We are going to be there to help each other, even if we don't even need it. Now, in 1991, President George H.W. Bush also delivered a nationally televised speech to students, urging them to say no to drugs and work hard in school. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.